The Ogun State Governor, Prince Dakwa Abiodun, has called for the full implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement in order to develop Africa's economy and create wealth on the continent. Abiodun made the call at a function in Agbara, Adodo, a local government area of the state. Our correspondent, Michael Adesonya, has more in this report. The African Continental Free Trade Area was officially founded on 21st of March 2018, with trade commencing on the 1st of January 2021. The AFC FTA is a treaty among 54 of the 55 African Union nations with the goal of boosting and expanding Africa's economy through active business transactions. Speaking on the theme of the event, African Continental Free Trade Area, Impact and Competitiveness for Nigeria's Market, we will state government Dakwabedo, represented by his commissioner for commerce and industry, Mrs. Kike Lomolongi, says that the agreement will eliminate bottlenecks in the intra Africa trade if well implemented. The focus drives industrialization and commercialization in the Nigeria states. We must all remain committed to accelerating the adoption of the ASCFTA in order to eliminate bottlenecks that impede intra Africa trade. Leveraging of the provisions of the AFCFTA exposes businesses operating in the state to the large and diverse African export markets. In view of the above, it is important for us as a group to maintain and sustain the conducive business environment for continued economic growth and development of our dear state and country at large. The guest speaker, Shibioke Obo, insists that all business stakeholders in the country are major players in the agreement, hence they need to be strategic in its implementation. First of all, Agbara is the manufacturing hall of Nigeria. And so if we are to talk about um, trade, investment, we have to talk about Nigeria's strategy to take advantage or to be a major player in the continent. Then this space, this vicinity, this location, it's important that we get it right here. Speaking on the occasion, the first lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Bamundeli Abedu, represented by the wife of the speaker, Ogun State House of Assembly, Mrs. Bonami Nomo says, Sakas era will usher in another milestone for the chamber. We are experiencing a new era for Tasima as we usher in a new and first female president of the chamber to take this association to the next level. This is the most important time to have the women steer the way of this association to further the interest of businesses and increase opportunities for them nationally and across our continent. The new president in her acceptance speech promises to work vigorously towards the development of the chamber as well as build on the achievements of the past executives. We continue to explore the, we continue to explore and engage our members on how best to take advantage of the free trade markets. Ladies and gentlemen, my administration shall enhance the prospects of the Barang Chamber of Commerce by engaging with relevant people governments and other businesses. The event also witnessed a representation to the governor, his wife, for the support for the chamber with a chance of more cooperation with the government. Michael Adesoya, INTV News, Abok.